Children of the light, as Lord Jesus calls us in John 8 and John 12. I want to read to you Galatians 3, 28, 29. It says, They are neither Jew or Greek, and not talking about Christians. And there is neither servant nor free men. They are neither male or feel, female, for you are all one in Christ. And you are, And if you are of Christ, then you are the seed of Abram and heirs according to God's promise. Now, what is Paul saying in the letter to the Galatians? In ancient cultures, there was tremendous social divides between people of different cultures, different heritages, male and female, slaves or freemen. And he says, in Christianity, in the bond of being a child of God in Christ, there must be a unity and love and support that surpasses all boundaries. And when I say love, I don't mean just approval of everything as someone else wants to do and hugs and kisses and weakness. I mean love, loyalty and support above all so that they can live and walk the road of righteousness. That's true love. Encouraging someone to live to God's glory and according to God's will. That's true love. So let us stop. True Christians, two children of God listening to my, my video tonight. I don't care what your denominational background, Catholic, Anglican, Methodist, Pentecost, Reformed, uh, uh, Orthodox, I don't care. We have a duty, a godly duty to love, support and be there for one another in our loyalty to Jesus, the Son of God and the only way to heaven. Keep your eyes fixed on heaven.